Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Carissa and it is Friday, January the 29th. How everybody doing today? I am currently folding clothes as you can see in the background guys. <sighs> Stay folding clothes, but how's everybody doing? I wanted to come on here to vlog my life. Of course, if you hear my kids in the background, they are in the living room currently watching TV and eating lunch, of course. And there's construction going on outside my window. So if you hear construction, I'm just trying to get through this video without making a lot of banging noise because people just out here just have no respect for people that live here. So I'm just going to should tell you guys how I feel deep down inside and just share just a little bit of story time and shed some light about how I'm feeling inside for one I feel happy of course everybody has to feel that one moment they're happy of course but I also feel sad cause it's like it's not a day that goes by where I just could truly say I am happy you know I have my days where I'm completely happy and I have my days where I just feel like I ain't uh -huh, nothing but everybody has that special someone and I would love to have that in my life. Not a lot of people could say they want that, but me, I honestly truthfully do. No girl wants to sit at her and be single. Let's let's be real. Let's be real honest. Don't nobody want to sell hair and be single. I'm sorry, but I already have my three kids, so it's like I'm already started that family oriented life. So I'm just, you know, I want I don't truthfully want marriage. I truthfully want marriage, guys. As you can see, these construction people have no idea of why they're doing that. I'm going to put you guys right here because, like, my window is, like, on that side. Let's get that out the way. That side. And they're making so long noise, but I hope I can get through this video, guys, without them making a lot of noise. But I want to get married. I want to know who my soulmate is you know and i pray my soulmate of course is watching this video of course and i just want to get on here and tell my future husband how much i adore him and that he's my everything so here it goes dear future husband i hope you never get tired of me, and I hope you love me for the rest of your life. I pray we grow old together, and just know I really, really like you. More than like you, I have feelings for you. People might think, oh, who are you talking about? But I'm just talking to the air, to, just to my future husband. Been. Okay, guys, this is just my future husband. Don't know who you are, but you know who you are. You know who you are. Let's just put it out there. You know who you are, future husband. I'm ready to grow with my future husband. I'm ready to take trips with my future husband, guys. I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with somebody. So, you know, your girl is single, so there's, there's, there's no ring on my finger, guys. So, I'm just wanting to come on here and just tell my future husband, if you're out there, just know that I love you. And we're going to get through this to get back. Uh, anyway, guys, let me stop being funny on here because I'm just going to get on here and just be funny with you guys. Anyways, who doesn't want that long-term relationship where they feel like it's candy, like, every day? Like, they feel like it's a kid in the candy store, like, every day. Tell me you don't feel like that when you're in a relationship with somebody. Because that's just how I feel 
all the time when I'm around my significant other. If I'm around my significant other, I feel like I'm a kid in the candy store. Let's be truthful around here, guys. Who doesn't want that special person? Your soulmate. And if you guys have your soulmate, how does it feel to have a soulmate? Because your girl. I don't know how to put my soulmate is. God has that special person for me. So, get your husbands. You're watching. I love you, boo. Always and forever, ever, ever. But anyway, guys, let me stop rambling my mouth about that. I read a weight, you know. Whatever God has for me, I read a weight for it. I'm not gonna go searching, I'm not gonna go find it. I'ma let love find me. And most people think, oh you know, you shouldn't wait on love, that or that. Who cares? Who cares what anybody has to say? I'm let me be real with you guys about some um about something. People that are always gonna say don't worry about love will be the main ones be jealous of your life. They will be hate. They will have hatred towards you. So do not listen to nobody. Only God can tell you when and when you can't do anything. Like let's be let's let's be real honest. Can't nobody judge your life but God. So if God is judging your life, then you should stop what you're doing. But if God is up there telling you stuff and everybody else is in your ear telling you anything turn those people around and say you know what god can only judge me and that's it okay so let me be real honest with you people there's not a lot of people out here you know happy for you there's a lot of people out here that's you know speaking bad on you or wishing you bad and you shouldn't mess with those type of people anyways if you don't have a strong support system in your life move around with that because don't nobody got time for the extra drama. But me, I'm not going to care what nobody else says. Because one, I never cared. Two, if my soulmate is out there and my soulmate found me, I'm not going to lie to you. I will get with my soulmate. You know why? Because guess what? They found me. I didn't go searching. I, didn't, I, I just sit here and kill them my poor heart. Okay? So, guys, if you have that special person with you in your life, please don't be afraid to show them off. And show the world a special person because you just never know what people are out here trying to pray over you because there's a lot of people out here doing like what i do and that's okay i don't even care about the people who don't care about that judgment anyways that flows over my head like i have my own life and i have my own feelings and i'm gonna feel how i feel i'm gonna do what i do and i'm not gonna give a damn or a crap about what everybody else says but I just want my future husband to know that I got him regardless being broke, rich, rosy, sickness. I got my husband. I just want my special husband to know no matter what we go through. Please don't leave. And I just want to get so emotional like my eyes about to cry guys like I don't know why it's so teary eyed I'm getting teary eyed I'm not trying to cry that is why my special my husband my special husband one husband because I swear when I get married guys I'm getting married one time and I get married multiple times and one time is enough for me death do his part that motherfucker gonna sit that ass down and we going to be together no matter what I just want my special husband to know I love him I wouldn't change him for the world I wouldn't tell him to change I want him just come as he is as he is package and all i'm gonna love that person i want to love my husband but guys if you had a special one please make sure you take care of them because everybody out here loves to have that special person look at me for instance i would love to have that special person in my life every day 
I want to feel special and I want my special husband to feel special too. So I just see myself, you know, being a wife. I don't see myself being a girlfriend. Which is why I'm taking the time out to work for me and work through whatever's going on up in here. I have to work on this, which is my heart, guys. And I have to work on this, which is my mental soul. I just want to pick the pieces and put them back together again. I just want my special husband to know it's okay to fall in love. And it's okay to want to be in love. And it's okay to cherish that love, guys. I got emotional behind this, guys, because it's so hard to find that one that God has for you. Either if God is just construction is just driving me nuts guys we had this use this construction going on outside this window but it's just a lot i feel sad and because i just don't understand why things happen in your life why things happen to where you just have yourself guessing if that person's gonna be there or not and i don't want to second guess anymore i don't want to second guess with anything i just want to go with my first thoughts my first mindset i want to just go with my heart it's telling me and i'm just i really want to tell you guys something but i just don't want to you know share it yet it's just too good to me so i just want to hold on to it first and you know once life happens and you guys will you guys will know you guys will know i just don't want to come on here and tell everything about everything because i feel like some things are meant to keep secret and that's just how I am. But I do want my future husband to know I want to go places. I want to be part of your life, future husband. If you're watching this, I want to be a part of your life. I want to be part of you. I want to live you. I'm going to breed you. I'm going to fill you. I want to be a part of you. But also, guys, Please stay tuned because your girl is on the road to 1K. And I'm out of here, guys. Please stay up. Please stay prayed up. Please, if you got any loved ones, you got a husband, you got your wife, please tell them you love them because you only get that one shot. And you only get that one special person. Please do not let go of that special person because I'm telling you right now, oh, another man's trash is another man's treasure. That's true facts. We need to that message, guys, because if it's true, and they tease. If you're out here cheating on your boyfriends or you out here doing them wrong and they're really good to you and they're faithful to you women, another woman's trash is another woman's treasure. So, it goes both ways, vice versa, ladies. So, if you're out here doing wrong to your significant other and they're faithful to you, you just need to walk away. Tell them the truth and walk away. And give them a chance to heal because nobody out here deserves to be cheated on. I've been cheated on and let me tell you something guys it just don't feel good it don't feel right it just don't feel good it makes you feel miserable it makes you feel sad it makes you feel insecure it makes you feel like what the hell but also guys i do want to put this out there if you have not started your weight loss journey please start now or you can start in february the first it is a few days so come on guys get on here and let's get going please like comment subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 1k if you got any friends family anybody that loves youtube and loves watching youtube videos please put it out there for them to check out my video and don't be afraid to comment down below all right stay tuned for the next video peace